an update to where we are. I have stripped down the pony truck that we tacked together the other day uh, and I've cleaned off the black so we're ready to weld some bits onto it. The brackets are now ready, I've prepped it ready for a bit of welding to weld this small bracket on. Uh, hopefully I don't know if you can see that but I've just taken that edge off. So when it's welded, because I'm going to TIG weld it, I'm not going to MIG it because it's quite tight and I don't have a lot of space for the spring on the inside so I've got to TIG the inside. So I'm going to TIG weld that together and then once it's together that's going to sit on there like so, level there for the bearing to sit up in.
we go. That's what it's going to look like. The bearing sits in there, and then we've got a hanger that goes across that's going to attach to the bearing with two pins that go down, and then the springs sit under here with a bolt under, which will give us some adjustment when the weight's on the top. So that's pretty cool. So what we've ended up doing here is we've moved the whole lot out 22 mil on each side. So this plate, this original plate, is now sitting in 22 mil that side and then 22 mil this side. So those original two plates that I had there and there need cutting down by 44 mil. So I'll get that done and then we can get it tacked back together again and then on to the next bit. Oh, and we've already done that. So if you want to see how I did it the first time, you need to go back a few videos. It's in the first pony truck video. Yeah, number one, part one. Yeah, I think so. I've already faced these off. Now, I didn't want to film that because it's quite a cast machine and it's very dusty and I didn't want to get the camera full of uh, casting dust. So I've just set, the, set this one back up because I've machined them both to the same height. They both sat on a pair of parallels, front and back, with two pieces of 12 mil. I've put them in the slots. They're quite a tight fit because we don't want any slop and we don't want it playing around. We don't want it moving. And then I nipped it up and then I squared it to one edge. So it's square there and it's square there. As close as we can get it. And now that's 90 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the edge finder down and I'm going to edge find there to there, put, find the centre, centre of there and there, put two 5mm holes to tap M6, 35mm apart. Right, so I've got the drill in now. I'm going to move it that way, 17.5, drill down half an inch, back up, do this side and then tap them out. So these are the riser blocks that are going to go from the bearing to the equaliser bar for the suspension. The 25 wide which is perfect height but I just need to get them down to 20 mil, and then we can put the two holes in, well in fact there's three holes, there's one in the middle which will be an M8 and then there's two, the two M6s either side. So we're just going to machine them down to 20 mil.
If this video has been of interest to you, then by all means click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. And don't forget to give it the thumbs up because that will help it share around the YouTube. And if you really, really like this video, then you can click here to view this video or you could click down here to go to our YouTube channel where there's many wonderful videos. Stay safe, laters.